is 28. Woodley is 38. Holloway is two inches taller. Woodley will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blessed Holloway. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who's gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, nice punch there by Wolf. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Misses with that punch. Holloway's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. So as we pull up some numbers here, we get 29 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Effective strike there by Wood. Holloway gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop. John, stop. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Thank you. 
attention. You got this fight in control. You took a couple of punches, but that's all right. I'm just gonna get to that. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. playing with fire. Working on a guillotine. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, you know he's not done yet, but the numbers to this point, 62 total strikes have landed. and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knock. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than you ever could have imagined. I go home and purchase some things 